My name is Dr. Mike Osborne. I'm course lead for Death, Autopsy and Law, which is one of the special BSc modules, which I run together with Dr. Wing Mei Kong, who you may know from uh, ethics teaching. So, what is Death, Autopsy and the Law? Well, Death, Autopsy and the Law is one of the C modules. You do it in addition to your main BSc. So if you're doing pharmacology or something like that, you would do those parts of your BSc. And then instead of doing a project, you would do death autopsy in the law. The other options in this category are history of medicine and humanities. So what does death autopsy in the law consist of? Well, really, we cover issues surrounding death, dying, the ethics of the procedures that deal with the dead body, the use of the dead body after someone has died, and things like organ donation. Should we be allowed to sell the organs of the deceased? Should it be compulsory to give the organs of the deceased? How should you be allowed to use the body after somebody has died? Use it for science, use in art, all of these sorts of areas are covered. Those are the more ethical and philosophical sides we cover. Then we cover the more practical sides. We explain to you the legal procedures that have to go through if somebody dies. What would make a death suspicious? Who is the coroner? How does the coroner look into deaths and examine the situation around deaths to make sure nothing untoward has happened? So we cover a broad spectrum of areas. We divide the course into two parts. The first part is a taught module of five weeks. It's taught mainly by people from outside Imperial College who are incredibly specialist in their field. So you'll be taught by forensic pathologists telling you when a death is suspicious, how to spot a murder, how to spot a homicide, why is this case suspicious and this case not suspicious, and giving you examples. You'll be, meet coroners and members of the judiciary. They will explain to you the legal procedures that happen after someone's died, the possible pleas somebody could make for mitigating circumstances. We have forensic psychiatrists talk to you about the role of the Mental Health Act. How can that alter someone's guilt if they are involved in a death? We then have ethical people talk to you. We have professional ethicists, we have lawyers who talk to you about issues such as right to die. Should people with terminal illnesses be allowed to end their lives? What are the circumstances where this might or might not be acceptable? What are the rules in this country? How do these rules differ from other countries? And so on. So it's a broad spectrum of things. We also go on various trips and visits so that we can maximise the learning of the course. So we, we go to the Old Bailey where we sit in on cases and learn about the Old Bailey and the judiciary and the judicial structure of Britain at the site. We go on a trip to the coroner's court where we meet a coroner, they discuss their role and give examples of cases that they have been involved in. We then do other Call other trips as well. We go to the National Gallery where we see how death and dying has been portrayed in the past. We go, we even run a treasure hunt where people travel around London and collect clues all related to death and dying and its role in society. So it's an interesting and informative course. The second part of the course is also five weeks and is a mini project. And basically what you do is you choose an area that you are particularly interested in that has been covered or even just touched on in the course. And then we provide you with a supervisor who will help you write a mini project about that. Our supervisors themselves have topics that they are especially interested in and we try and match you up. But generally speaking, if it is a topic that you can convince us is related to the course and we think is interesting and suitable, we will let you do that course. That topic and people have produced a large amounts of very interesting work in this area and the mini projects have led to a lot of publications and presentations and in fact this course is, makes it more likely for you to get a presentation or a publication than most of the other BSc courses. So anyone who tells you don't do a Part C module because you're less likely to get it published Actually, that's not generally the case. And all of these publications, presentations, can go and help you in your future applications for jobs and so forth. So, if you're interested in the law, 
and the ethics and other aspects around death, dying and the use of the body after death, then this may be a course you're interested in and we'd be very pleased to see you on the course. Thank you.